Hey! Ho ho! Ha ha! All right, everybody, how's it going? Now then, this episode of the old e bike build, I'm going to change the rear shock absorber to this. Now, what is this? It's a. Uh, it's like, oh, I can't remember. It was a Honda something or other. If it is like, fits a Honda something, I'll put it up on the screen. Uh, for a 125 motorcycle. It's Chinese made, sort of a, you know, not, not, a, not the uh, original article. But anyway, stop waffling. Get on with it. I'm going to change the um, rear DNM shock absorber because... It's, it's like riding a pogo stick, honestly. And what it is, when you accelerate, look, I'm not like I'm not the lightest guy in the world, so the spring's going to go down quite a lot on a bike shock anyway. And the bike is heavy. But when I accelerate, it pushes the bike down and the front becomes light. So I'm hoping this will sort of stop it going up and down and make the bike a bit more sturdy. So come along with me. <laughs> and see if it works or if it's a fail. Hoi! Okay, so I've taken the uh, the DNM shock I had on the bike before off, so I can put it next to the sort of 125cc equivalent type rear shock. And you can see there's quite a lot of difference. Uh, so first of all, the original, the bike takes an 8mm hole, whereas this shock takes a 10mm 10 10 millimeter hole. So there's two ways you can do this. You can either drill out the bike, uh, the swing arm uh, hole to 10mm and the bracket to 10mm, or you can put a sleeve inside you which is the way I'm going to do it because obviously once you drill the bike out you can't go back to the small hole because it'll be wrong. So I'm going to use a sleeve. I'll show you in a minute. I'll go and get the sleeves now. Um, I'm going to put a sleeve in you and you and so I can, I can use the original 8mm bolt so I don't have to drill anything. Anyway, so this is a 240mm long and I think it was a bit too long for me this the seat was too high and obviously this this spring goes boing it's like it's just springing everywhere it was okay this one is 205 millimeters so it's a little bit shorter and it should have a lot less flex I don't know if you can see inside here uh, inside this one it's got a tiny bump stop in there and quite a long sort of travel and this is okay if you're going to use the bike if you was using a you know a, a bicycle for downhill and you wanted lots of traveling suspension that's fine but on the road i only want a short bit of traveling suspension so it doesn't you know that so the the handling doesn't go all over the place so i don't know if you can see in here but it's got quite a a bigger bump stop and a very short amount of travel so i'm hoping that this only goes you know the, the, the full travel of that that rod but it it, won't, it takes a lot to compress it okay and uh, it's also got fast and slow on the bottom of there also with this one uh these well if you you can move this i don't know if you can see that they sort of move side to side and up and down in a sort of movable bushing sort of doodah Anyway, let me go and get my, what am I going to get? Let me go and get the bushings and I'll show you what I mean now. Right, okay. Now then, so if you can see this, I actually bought, this is about 25 mil 25 mil from there to there, right? This is 12 mil. This one is. I was going to buy these, two of these, pop them in there, <laughs> pop one in one side, like that, 
and pop one in the other side and that would have done the job okay but as it happens my brother does a lot of motorcycles and he he bought these uh, sort of adapters he was adapting some different front brakes on his motorcycle and they had these flanges on there I don't know if you call that a flange but they've cut them off okay and these are 10 mil to 8 mil so I'll put one in there like that see that there and one in there like that so now this will accept the original 8mm bolt and everything will be tickety-boo <laughs> I hope so and just to give you some sort of idea of the difference in uh, thickness on the spring we just turn this on set to zero the thickness of this spring here is 8.36 and this one here is 11.24 if I do the thickness this way like this 46.77 this one is roughly 71.85 so hopefully this this spring here will stop me going boing a winger <laughs> anyway let's go and put it on the bike so here we go, I've taken the old DNM shock off and I'm going to put the sleeve in the new shock and put on the top mount. Now the top mount goes well. <laughs> when I come to the bottom mount, everything goes wrong. So the bottom mount is too shallow, if you know what I mean. It's when I'm trying to push the shock down into the mount, it's too big and it's bottoming out and it's, it's touching the actual swing arm. And as you can see by here, there's about a mil-ish too high. So I can't push the bolt through. So what's my options here? I could maybe grind that hole higher and take the sleeve out and put a 10 mil bolt in. Oh, what else could I do? I could grind the bottom off the shock. It's, but uh, both them things I don't want to do. So, um, I don't really know what to do, to be honest. Option one, grind the hole bigger. Option two, grind the shock. Option three, shout and sway at the bike until you get bored. Or option four, sell the bike and build a new project. Or we could go option five, which is in the comment section, you give me an idea of what I should do. Any ideas will be helpful. So if you've got, you know, any thoughts on how we could come across that problem without destroying the shock or changing the bike, leave it in the comment section below. I'll be very, very grateful. Anyway, I could have just not put this video up because it was a bit of a fail, but I thought, you know, I'll put my failures up as well because if somebody else wants to go down this route, <laughs> you know, they they... They can see my failures and they can work around it then, can't they? So it's all good, isn't it? Anyway, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a like. Click the old ding-a-ling and remember to subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Ho-ho-ee!